The Cowboys mailbag today is coming up, but we're going to try something different in the near future, and we'll tell you more about how we're going to make it work with the Hi-Ho app, but we're planning on doing a video mailbag, getting your faces on the show. We'll tell you more about that in a little bit, so stick around and make sure you're paying attention. First up from Henry Nutsch. Uh, how will the Cowboys utilize Keanu Neal now that they have lots of weak side linebackers? As a general reminder here, the, the pure strong safety, like box safety, and weak side linebacker role is the same. It's not that different. It's just counting, well, is he a safety or a linebacker? They're playing the box either way. He's going to be a weak side linebacker, though. That's going to be his role. That has been made repeatedly very clear. Keanu Neal is now a linebacker for this team. Now, if in the event there are injuries at safety, maybe Neal could kick back to that position. But in the end, he's going to be in the box. That is Keanu Neal's role. That's his job. And that's going to be the, the game plan for the Cowboys as they move forward. And Neal moves forward into what might be viewed as his second stage of his NFL career. From Die Harder, a super chat. Thank you, Die Harder. Is Tyron Smith actually going to be healthy this year? If you mean play every single game, I'm going to bet no. That's just not what we've seen on Tyron Smith in recent years. If by healthier do you mean play more like 12 or 13 games? I think that is a reasonable, I might say hope, maybe expectation if you're feeling aggressive there. I don't think Tyron plays every single game this year. That's just not what he's been doing in recent years. But at his contract, at his level of play, if you get 13 games out of Tyron Smith, and of course you get him for the postseason, you're probably in pretty good shape there. So what do you guys think? How many games will Tyron Smith play for the Cowboys in 2021? Get your votes in for me in the comments section right now. From Gabriel Gonzalez, where do you think the Cowboys' defense will be ranked next year? So I think what you might see is if everything goes right, the offense is really good, they're scoring a bunch of points, they don't start as slow as they have in the past, and the end result is that the points allowed by the Cowboys' defense looks better than what it actually is because of how good the offense is. They're playing from ahead, the defense gets the key off on, on, on the pass, and things snowball that way I think overall if you want to use like nerd stuff like DVOA I think if you can get around 16 league average that'd be a market improvement for this Cowboys defense so I'm hoping for league average thinking maybe 20s might be a little bit more likely from Rashard Lee what's a bold prediction for the Cowboys this season so producer Brett tell me if this is bold or not Randy Gregory gets double digit sacks he says bold enough. I'm excited about Randy Gregory this year. He's actually got an offseason. He's the clear-cut number two pass rusher opposite Demarcus Lawrence. And Gregory, by the way, when he was playing, he played really well, at least in terms of pressure rates this past season. From Jamie Leal, who do you think is the worst defensive starter? Um, Good question. Uh, I don't know who cornerback two is going to be, might end up being Anthony Brown. I think in reality, the, the answer will be if Jalen Smith is starting, that might be one of them. But as producer Brett just said in my ear, he's right. Pick one of your defensive tackles, whether it's Neville Gallimore, Tristan Hill, Quentin Bahanna, Brett Urban, whoever. I think one of those guys on the interior will probably end up being your worst starter, although it'll probably be a rotation and they might not be starting in terms of overall snaps. As I tease, folks, we're going to do something different in the not-too-distant future. We want to keep you guys engaged and involved here on, on, on the Cowboys Report. So we're planning on doing a Cowboys Report video mailbag. Now, to help make this possible, because as it turns out, zooming people in is not a great way of doing things, go download and submit your questions on the Hi-Ho app, chatsports.com slash Cowboys Hi-Ho. It is iPhone only, by the way. We'll put the link in the comment section and in the description. You'll see a post that looks kind of like this one right here on screen. Shout out James, my boss, for taking a screenshot of me mid-blink. 
Thanks, James. Looks terrible. Either way, you know, I put the makeup on for this, I guess, and style my hair a little bit better. Either way, the goal here is if we get enough video questions, we will do a video mailbag. Your guys' faces on the show. So go download the app. It's right there. Link bottom of your screen. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys Hi Ho. Sign in. Create your account. All that good stuff. Follow us. We have the handle, by the way, at Cowboys, which is very fun there. Suck it, Jerry. And then submit your video questions. And if, 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 it's up to you guys here, if we get enough of them, we will do a video mailbag, your faces, on the show. Over to Spidey. Uh, what will the Cowboys do if all of the linebackers do well this year? Be happy. Uh, be very happy. Uh, I mean, at that point, you're probably losing LVE in free agency. You might keep Jalen Smith. We'll see about Keanu Neal. But that means you feel great about Micah Parsons and Jabril Cox long term. Maybe you can even find a trade partner for Jalen, although uh, the Jones boys love him. From King Shadow 09, can Dan Quinn effectively revisit the success of Legion of Boom with the Cowboys? Will it be better, worse, or somewhere in the middle? Unquestionably, guys, it's going to be worse. The Dallas Cowboys are not going to go from a bottom five defense to one of the greatest defenses in NFL history. If you could be like half as good as the Legion of Boom was, I'd be ecstatic. I think if you can get league average defense in year one, I'd be feeling pretty good. If your expectations around Dan Quinn's defense is Legion of Boom 2.0, you're going to be disappointed. That, that, that is an unrealistic and frankly unfair goal for what the talent level is right now on this Cowboys team. If they get top 15, top good, or top, top 15, awesome. But we got to dial those expectations, otherwise you're going to be disappointed come week seven of this season. If you guys have not already, hit that big red button. Subscribe. We are live on Thursdays doing these mailbags. If you got questions, I assume they're all good ones, then you got to be subscribed, otherwise you're just going to miss out on the opportunity. So head over to YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV and subscribe today. Super chat now from Alan Williams the second. Tom, what rookie are you most excited to see play this year? Hmm. You know, I feel like the, the obvious answer is like the round one guy, Micah Parsons, or even the round two. I want to focus on some of those later round picks. Can I go with Jabril Cox? For years, I've been searching for a true impact coverage linebacker, and maybe it's not year one he makes the mega obvious impact. I am excited about Jabril Cox, though, as a member of this Cowboys team. And I am very intrigued, by the way, as to how Osa Odigizua ends up playing in year one for the Dallas Cowboys. Did I, did I just want to say his name? Possibly. From Arise CD, Dak Prescott, over, under, passing yards. So remember, we are at 17 games this year. So I, I would say that the, the expectations are pretty darn high around Dak Prescott. Is, is he going to average 300 yards per game? No, probably not. But maybe if the defense is bad again, I think I'd put the over-under at 5,000. It's an extra game. It's still not even that higher of a clip than what he did in 2019 with one game where his shoulder was all busted up. I, I'm going to go 5,000. And I think ideally Dak actually hits under because Zeke has a bunch of yards on the ground because they're winning games in the fourth quarter. From Young Gunna, who do you think has a breakout year this year? Look, I think guys like CeeDee Lamb has a big time year. I think Trevon Diggs breaks out. But if you want a more in-depth analysis there, my friend, beyond a 30-second soundbite, check the channel. We've got offensive and defensive breakout players available. Go check it out. Super Chat from Justin Marone. Do you trust Micah Parsons to stay out of trouble after the college rumors? I, from what I had heard, it was that Micah Parsons in pre-draft interview stuff did acknowledge he's made some mistakes and was be becoming a better person, which I think is good. He was becoming more mature. I hope that is the case. I think Parsons' issues at college aren't quite like the one-to-ones you might run into in the NFL. So I hope the answer is yes. I would be lying if when he was mentioned by Bucky Brooks in the same vein as Dwayne Haskins did not concern me that that was a big red flag for me. I, I have concerns about it, but I'm going to be optimistic and say, yeah, Parsons will end up staying out of trouble. Fingers crossed. 
from Jason Shell. Does Isaac Alacron make the roster or practice squad? I mean, I'm going practice squad. He's getting, been getting some work at guard. If he makes the team, I would say it is far more likely that he makes the practice squad than the roster. Like, he was a free practice squad guy last year. He, he was part of the International Player Pathway Program. That track record of guys making it is, like, basically non-existent. So I would say dial in the expectations around Alacron, and we'll see. The preseason is going to be his chance to shine this year. From Brokov, if Gallup miraculously has a Metcalf-like breakout year, do you pay Gallup, trade Cooper, or trade Gallup? Well, you can't trade Gallup. He's a free agent. Now, you can try and franchise tag and trade him, but I don't think anyone would do that. Franchise tag might be in play. It depends on what Gallup wants. Uh, Amari Cooper is better than Michael Gallup is right now. That's not up for debate, despite what some of you guys seem to think. So because of that, look, if Gallup wants to sign for like $14 million and he plays as well as DK Metcalf, let's have that conversation. If he wants $20 million, stick with the guy you already paid $20 million. 